My next guest tonight is a New York Times best-selling author and investigative reporter whose new book is Kushner Inc. Please welcome Vicky Ward. All right. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Now you've got a you've got a book here. We've talked about it a little bit on the show last week. Uh, it's did. called Kushner Inc. Yes. Inc. is short for incompetent. And <laughs> it's greed, ambition, and corruption. And um, first of all, how did how did the writing of this book come about? How how did you get this information about Ivanka and Jared? How did you learn these things? Because um, the the Sarah Hucka Sanders yes. basically said, oh, it's just shady anonymous sources. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of anonymous sources in here. There are. How do we know they're not shady? Well, first of all, if Sarah Huckabee Sanders wants to get into a credibility ratings battle with me, I'll, I'll take her on. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so what, what, what are the president's feelings of, of working with his kids? Because not every president has had his children in there in official capacities in the White House. <laughs> no, they haven't. We have a nepotism law um, to stop it. Mm -hmm. um, a weak one, evidently. A, a very, <laughs> yes, a very a weak one. A nepotism suggestion. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Please don't do that. <laughs> so how, how does the president so, feel about it? What have so you learned about the that? The answer is actually he's very ambivalent. He was very ambivalent about having them come in. He hates it when they get negative press. He's probably not going to like reading about this book too much. Mm -hmm. He hated it. He hated it when Jared couldn't fill out his security clearance form many, many times. A uh, hundred corrections. There were a hundred <laughs> corrections in a security right. form. Yes. He hated it when. Um, that, that, you know, they both misused email. They used private and uh, private email server. Why do you think the president doesn't get them out of there? So that, that's his, it, it's really interesting. He uh, asked John Kelly, former chief of staff, to make their lives so miserable that they would just resign. Um, John Kelly did exactly what he was asked to do. Um, they came to resign, and Trump couldn't do it. It's his, his, you know, for a man... Wait, so wait, are you saying that they actually said we, we're, we're tendering yes. our resignations? Yes. To Kelly or the president? To the president, and he, he cannot send his daughter home. And um, his, actually his supporters, interestingly enough, think that uh, his daughter and her husband may be his undoing, that they are far more dangerous to him than Robert Mueller. Why? Why? What, what are they dangerous? Because they have well, uh, because dirt in their past? All, or? All, the, all the vulnerabilities that I talk about in the book. Um, Jared's role in, firing, in the firing of James Comey is currently one of the things being looked at by Congress, um, who, who now have subpoena power. It was much greater than has been previously reported. He, you know, Jared normally tries to take the president aside when no one else can hear what's going on. He actually had a stand-up fight uh, in front with Steve Bannon in front of other people and in front of the president as, about James Comey. And he, it was he who was pushing for James Comey to be fired. He, he made three points. He said, the FBI hates James Comey, the Democrats hates James Comey, and the Trump base would love it if we fire him. Why did he do all of this? Um, because the press had just got wind of the fact that Jared had not mentioned any of his meetings with Russian dignitaries on his security forms. So and Comey you're, was you're, in charge of the, of you a, the are Russia saying that investigation. To protect himself, exactly. not the president. Exactly. He had, had that him is fired. the appearance. Is yes. there anybody left to check the influence of Jared and Ivanka? Because Bannon's gone, Kelly's gone. Big body count. There's a big body count, exactly. There's blood in the gutters. What is who is there to say no to these people? So here's an interesting suggestion. Melania Trump, friend of this show, is the... <laughs> she's, here, she's here often. She's here often. She is the only person in my book who has ever successfully stood up to Ivanka Trump um, and won. 
when you know, there's, I have a scene. It's the transition. Ivanka Trump has told the world that she's not going to be joining the White House. That's absolute rubbish. Mm -hmm. um, behind the scenes, she's making all the plans. She's actually having uh, uh, an office, a Trump family office, drawn up uh, for the East Wing, which is normally the territory of the First Lady. When Melania Trump heard about this, she put a very quick end to Ivanka's plans. So, all our hope rests on Melania Trump. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for this hopeful, hopeful discussion. Um, and thank you for being here. The book is Kushner, Inc. It's available tomorrow. Vicki Ward, everybody. Thank you so much.